So the job I've been doing on my snowblower, uh, you see I got all the motor stripped down. And uh, I had to get the carburetor out, which is here. I had to do all that strip in order to get at it. So uh, this is your starter, or well, pull starter. I take that off. And this is the electric starter. We had to take that off. And the gas line's got to be replaced. And uh, anyway, this is it. This is the this is the gas tank here. So she's all stripped down. So uh, just the flywheel exposed there now. Then I got to put all that back together once I get the carburetor done. This is the carburetor here. I'm going to take it up to Ron's, and he's going to. He's going to do a cleanup on it. We replace the hoses and she should run fine after that. And uh, anyway, all this lighting and everything, all this is all only going to be taken out uh, in the spring. When the new barn arrives, we're going to, uh, everything that's valuable in here will go in the new barn. And uh, I don't know when it's going to arrive, but it'll be before winter. Uh, this is part of the cat house that we had in here. I put that back together. And the raccoons can move in there if they want. And if not, this is, a, this is my uh, catio here. I leave it in here for the winter. So that's the catio. You just take it and sit in front of the window. And the big screen door I have to fix uh, for next spring. This is my ride on tractor. <laughs> it's uh, it's got these levers. It's uh, zero turn. So anyway, I'm just get this board across so I can put my tools and all that stuff on there. Anyway, so we should have this thing running next week sometime. Get her going. Then I, I keep my stuff all hung up. So what I'm going to do is uh, all this stuff's going to come out and be rehung over in the new barn. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'm going to put these across, these beams across. Not so many. I'm just going to have some at the back. And uh, I think I'll just put two lights in. I don't need all. I got to put three in here. I got it so that uh, you can pull them off like that too, but. I have a light switch here I put in, so all this wiring is all going to come out. I put all that in myself, and uh, and it's wired into the house through this here. My brother-in-law gave me this underground cable, so I'm going to rip all that up and uh, rewire it into the the new shed. So. Show you my uh, my generator I bought. Never got to use it because uh, oh, you get going. Never got to use it because uh, there it is here. So oh, I left the thing on there. All right, and put it on choke. There's no primer, just a second. There we go. So it's not that loud. <coughs> anyway, that'll keep my fridge going. I don't care about the heat. Power won't be off all that long, but just to keep my fridge so nothing will spoil. You shut it off. That's it. That's all there is to it. Well, this is the raccoon deck. That's all going to be uh, sprayed next week. I got a guy coming with a power spray. They're going to do the whole do both decks plus the back of the house so
and I got another guy coming to finish that ditch for me. So he'll tear that, he's going to ditch that right back further for me. And that'll be the end of that. And then another guy come do my septic. Get that cleaned out, and then the only one thing left to do is see, uh, is to uh, get a fall up the graveyard, and I got to lift my wife's headstone up and have more gravel put under. And I got a new tank coming, new. Uh, my wife painted all these little flowers on there, but. It's got to go, but I have to wait till the oil gets down a little further. It gets down to about a quarter, they'll come out and they'll put in a brand new tank. The insurance wants you to do that every every so many years, you got to change your tank. And it costs it like, uh, with the tank, it's 2200 and then you got to refill it with oil, so you're looking at another 1000 on top of that, with well, 3000 plus. It's just a big scam. There's nothing wrong with that tank. Because it's out of the weather. So. And, uh. They made me buy this thing. Chorrent said you had to have this. This stupid thing. Just clips on there. That was to protect the ice and the snow. Well, how's the ice and the snow going to there? It's under the peak. So. Oh, it's just a scam as far as I'm concerned. So, I'm off to the lake, and I'll be back in time to feed the raccoons. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know what I was, how I was doing, getting stuff ready for the winter. But as far as the snowblower goes, this is the time to do it when it's nice weather out. So. And oh yeah, this thing here came off my wife's grave. Uh, that was off her old, I had an old cross made. So, and that was on the cross. Jane S. Blackwood, uh, 1949, 2003. She was 50, 54 when she died. Anyway, I just, I just keep that around for sentimental reasons. <clears throat> anyway. No wonder Ronnie couldn't get at the, the carburetor. <clears throat> Too much stuff in the way. So, I gotta get a new thing to turn this. That's your chute. Last year I took all this apart. And I took all the tines out and repainted them and everything. And put new wheel bearings in there. So, and Fula bought me this last year. This is the greatest thing. It's, uh, it's a set of clippers. Let me let show you. Uh, you can set it for wherever. And you don't have to be, uh, you just, you, you can cut the, uh, cut the grass standing up. You don't have to bend over. That's the greatest thing. And you can set it for any angle you want. <clears throat> so I'll put that there. Because these ones here, you gotta bend over to cut with. Anyway, I'll sign off for now and uh, I don't know when I'm gonna put this on, probably tonight sometime. Anyway, people, this is the small village of Churchill. We'll see you later.